Stein has charged indiscriminately. He's been undone. Karic gets his third. And it's a normal service resumed as Australia keep their number one post. They have beaten Australia, uh, beaten South Africa here at Kingsmead by 175 runs. They have clinched the series and they have done it emphatically. Australia has won the second cricket test against South Africa for an unbeatable 2-0 series lead. The Aussies defeated the Proteas by 175 runs in Durban. Philip Hughes named man of the match. A series victory was the prize. If Australia's bowlers could finish the job on the final day, they immediately took the new ball but weren't backed up in the field. Oh, now, was that a catch? I've got a funny feeling. Jacques Callis dropped for the second time in the innings, this time by Michael Clark at point, but he failed to punish the tourists, dismissed next over for 93. Gone. Gone. Johnson does it again. The ball just bounces on Callis. Ricky Ponting with the catch to end a 187-run stand with A.B. de Villiers, who soon followed Callis back to the pavilion. That's great stuff. That is great stuff. What a delivery that is. Peter Siddle with his third wicket. De Villiers gone for 84 to leave the Proteas 4 for 279. One run later, JP Dumini also looked to have been on his way. That is a nice take. Or did he drop it? And he doesn't, so he's dropped it. Despite the reprieve, the host faced an uphill battle to save the match, and their predicament soon got worse. Oh, that's a beauty! What a crackerjack delivery! Couple here for Boucher. You should get it with that waist high full toss. Clipped away nicely through square leg. It's a no ball. He was pushing for the Yorker. Will it go all the way? Yes, it will. Nicely played and placed by Mornay Morkel. Turned away for four. Into the hip. He's a tall man. He could get on top of it easily and flick it away to the fence. It's 3-3-6 three, three, six for six. House with an almost unplayable delivery to dismiss Dumini for 17. That exposed the South African tail. And in the last over before lunch, Simon Kadic picked up Paul Harris. Yes, Simon Kadic has done it. Siddle with the catch as Australia closed in on victory. The Victorian had Mornay Morkel in a tangle early in the afternoon session. But the paceman survived and finally showed some resistance with the bat. Clipped away nicely through square leg. Mark Boucher also stuck around before falling to Marcus North for 25. Yeah, well done. What a good catch. Kadic soon had Morkel in bizarre circumstances. What appeared to be a referral against an LBW decision resulted in the batsman dismissed caught behind between the legs of Brad Haddon. With 39 overs left, the injured Graham Smith seemed unlikely to answer an SOS call. That was confirmed with the removal of Dale Stain. Oh, what a way to end. And it's a normal service resumed as Australia keep their number one post. A 175-run victory helping Australia go two up and clinch the series. Australia after winning the sauce Ricky Ponding, 3.52 on the board and Hughes and Kadish are both getting tons. Stadium was affected, but it was always a lot of hard work for him. Three wickets, South Africa, first innings. That to me was the killer blow, uh, all out 130 out, a couple of injuries as well. Crane Smith got two broken knuckles, uh, Dumini survived there, 73 not out. Australia's second innings, they set the game up, and thanks to the man of the match, uh, Phil Hughes, 160. And Ricky Ponting's 81, don't forget that, he's been in pretty good form as well, and he hasn't fired. Yeah, I mean, it's been uh, very disappointing two test matches. I think, um, especially after what we've achieved over the last sort of 12 to 16 months, I think it's it's been an incredible effort from the team, and we just haven't really been able to maintain that sort of, you know, intensity and, and level of play that we've 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 gotten used to. But um, I think in saying that, you've got to give credit to to Ricky and his team. They've played uh, very well as a unit. Um, they played very good disciplined cricket and and kept us under pressure for long periods of time, which we haven't really been able to sustain.
extremely proud of the whole group, to tell the truth. Um, you know, coming here, we knew we had our, our backs to the wall and we, we, uh, we got together as a, a really tight group before the first test match and decided that if we did things as well as we could that we, we'd uh, give ourselves a really good chance of being very competitive in this series. I think what a lot of people probably overlook coming here, just how, how close the series was back at home. You know, I think as a playing group, we knew just how close we were and we couldn't quite get across the line on a couple of occasions, but we put our best foot forward over here and played some amazing cricket in these first two test matches and a lot of the debutantes that we, we had uh, in Joe you know, Phil Hughes, back-to-back hundreds here, Hilfen House and, and Marcus North, and those guys have been unbelievable for us. So, uh, look, I'm extremely proud of what we've done, and uh, we're going to celebrate accordingly tonight. Yeah, it's definitely been an exciting week, and actually two weeks to be honest, you know, to uh, come in this side and, and to go like that. Um, definitely very happy, and to win 2-0, uh, to win this series is just a great feeling. People are saying that you might redefine the way uh, batting is, is test match uh, opening the batting is actually uh, done. I mean, you've got an amazing technique. Are you self-taught? Who are, you, who are your idols? Obviously, there's been a lot of hype about that, and there's been a lot of talk about he's very different and all this type of stuff. But uh, you know, I like to see things that everyone's different, and I like to just play my own game and really go from there and keep things very simple.